What is up guys, Marcellus Williams, aka The Swole Faster, Education on Health and Social Wellbeing, and today I am finally giving you guys the updated knee sleeve review and comparison. Now, link in the description box down below, I'll have the first video I did where I was pretty much comparing the um, A7 Rigor Mortis to the um, Enzo Ergo Pros and the Iron Rebel Knee Sleeves. Today, we're going to pretty much be going over all of the new modern knee sleeves. So that's going to include the Iron Rebels, the Enzers, the Titans, the A7s, the new SPDs, uh, Helix Performance, all of them. I don't, I'm, I may even miss them at that point, but we're going to be going over every single sleeve, giving you guys my thoughts on each one, uh, tiering them, and then, you know, at the very end, just letting you know which knee sleeves that I personally think are best and why. Um, and there's also going to be something kind of special in this video as well, as far as, um, one of the one of the actual creators of the knee sleeves taking his time to be on the channel to kind of give his thoughts and stuff like that. So you guys will be able to, you know, see that. But with that being said, let's get right into it. Like I said, the original video is linked in the description down below, but really, you don't really need that because I'm about to go through every single one right now. I'm trying to be as objective as possible. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. Um, none of these companies are paying me to do this. I took the time to, you know, get these sleeves and test this out just because one, I have a roster of 80 plus clients. So having that information of knowing what sleeves I think are best and why is very useful to them. And two, I did this so you guys don't have to <laughs> because, you know, it's this thing where, you know, a lot of people get confused when there's all these different knee sleeves and stuff coming out. I personally think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing for powerlifting when you see so many companies trying to invest more into it and upgrade their stuff. I think that's good, uh, but it can get a little bit confusing when you have all these different companies releasing what seems like almost the same product at the exact same time. So hopefully this video will give you guys a little bit of clarity, but I want to start off by saying this. If you are already happy with what you're using as far as knee sleeves, whether you're using any of these ones I'm about to go over, or if you're just using like the OG SPDs, or using like the, you know, the old style Stoic sleeves, if you're happy with what you're using, your squat pattern feels in groove, you feel strong, just stick with what you've got. You don't have to buy any of these just because of anything that I say or because someone recommends them to you. If you're somebody where you feel like, yeah, things are going well, but hey, if I can get a better sleeve that gives me a, you know, a little bit more pop at the hole or maybe makes the squat feel a little bit better, cool. But I just want to make this clear that the purpose of this video is not to get you guys to just go out and spend your money needlessly. If you're happy with what you've got, keep it going. But if you run into any of the issues that I might talk about some of these sleeves, there might be something to consider. With that being said, let's get right into it. We are going to be starting with the Iron Rebel knee sleeves. Now, for me personally, these are at the very bottom. These are the worst ones um, for a couple of reasons. The first of all is the fact that, well, first let's start with the pre-pros. The pro for the Iron Rebel knee sleeves is that they are actually extremely easy uh, to get on overall and not crazy difficult to get off. They're a little bit hard to get off and they are to get on, but um, you know, as far as like comfort, the material, not a big deal. You'll, you guys will see compared to a lot of these other sleeves, except for like the, the newer SPD sleeves, that these are a little bit uh, thinner overall. Like for example, if we were to just very quickly compare them to the Enzers, they're just a little bit thinner um, comparatively, right? Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but the issue that I have with these is that they are just way too tight, like unbearably so. The fact of the matter is for every person that I personally talk to and every client that I have, like there's a couple clients I have who use these, the only ones who like them or say they feel good are the ones where they've all sized up two to three from what the sizing chart says. That's ridiculous to me. It's one thing if you wanna size down from what the sizing chart says for a knee sleeve to get like a slightly tighter fit, have it be a little bit more snug. But when you literally have to size up a couple of times to get the knee sleeve to fit comfortably, that's ridiculous in my opinion. Like keeping in mind, based upon the sizing chart, um, I could have worn, I believe, um, an extra small or a small. These are mediums and they were still unbearable. Like they never really, they never broke in for me. Um, I could only keep them on for like one set at a time. They immediately would have to take them off. Couldn't just roll them down. Had to completely take them off. That's how uncomfortable they were. I, I really feel like the big thing with Iron Rebel is I feel like they kind of just rushed out the product. Like because of the popularity that was happening with Enzers at the time, since those were the first ones to drop, it feel, I feel like it became this thing where they're just like, okay, let's try to like, you know, get on this as quickly as possible. And I just, I just think they dropped the ball with them to be perfectly honest, because once again, me having to size up, if sizing up once should be more enough already, but having to size just for a more comfortable bit, for sizing up twice and it still doesn't fit comfortably is just, it's not a, it's not a really good design at that point, um, in my opinion. Like I said, it's a little bit thinner, pretty easy to get on and off, but as far as using them comfortably, they're not great. Now, if you come from a background where you use 
like knee wraps, then maybe that's not so bad for you because you guys are used to like, you know, taking your wraps on and off after like your sets and attempts. But I feel like for most power lifters, it just would not make sense to go with the Iron Rebels. So those are my thoughts there. Since we're already kind of on the topic, um, since we made that comparison, we'll go to the ones that started it all. That is, of course, going to be the Enzer, the Ergo Pros. And really, I don't have um, too many negative things to say about these. I know a lot of people still use these and don't have any issues with them. Um, I think one of the biggest issues that people have had, uh, depending on like when they got them, was the stitching and feeling like the stitching like was coming apart. I know the first pair that I got, that's what happened to them. Uh, the stitching in the back came apart. And I know another complaint a lot of people have is that the stitching just kind of feels aggressive and kind of like digs into the back of the leg, which isn't great. But in terms of like, you know, overall stiffness, um, and, and material like they tend to work really well the biggest issue with these is going to be like your leg shape and size so for some people if you have a big you know depending on your quad size and your calf size these fit fine they'll almost fit like regular sleeves but for a lot of us there's this gap right between um the back of our calf and the back of this because of how big the bottom hole is relatively i'm one of these people because i don't have big calves at all um as well as the fact that you know even though it fits well on the quad it just doesn't have that tight compressive feeling going all the way into the hole. That's the big problem because it doesn't conform to the leg fully. So that's really the biggest issue uh, with the Enzer Ergo Pros is the fact that depending on how big your legs are, how big your calves are, it might fit comfortably or it might not fit great. Um, some people, they may be like, you know, maybe they would usually wear a small, but they were an extra small just to get that tighter fit, which is cool. But the issue is, okay, what if that's too small or too tight, right? So um, the Enzers are obviously the sleeve that started all this, so I'll always give them love and praise for that, that a lot of these other companies would not have bothered to try to upgrade their knee sleeves if Enzer hadn't done it first. Um, but as a whole, not, you know, decent sleeve, uh, definitely not the one that I think is the best at this point, but it, like I said, good start and easily beats the Iron Rebels. Now, with that being said, we are next can get into the Village Hidden Iron Sleeves because these, in my opinion, are essentially just Enzers with a different design and, and a better fit overall. Meaning like if you're having the issue of like, you know, having it fit well on the quad and calves um, with the Enzers, then you're not really gonna have that issue with the Village Hidden Iron. Now I will say, personally, I'm just not a huge fan of the design, sorry Bob, <laughs> of like like the, the front design. It's just, I don't like my knee sleeves that have a whole bunch of stuff on them. So that's more of like a, an aesthetic critique. But as far as the knee sleeve itself, these felt good. I really have no complaints about these overall. Um, they're just like, you know, a nice stiffer sleeve, more uh, slightly more compressed version of the Enzer Ergo Pros in my opinion. And that's the exact same thing that I said um, when I kind of briefly reviewed them in a training video is that if you like the Enzers, you'll probably love these. Um, the only thing is once again, the stitching is pretty much the same. I have yet, I don't yet to really have anybody complain about it in the sense of like, it doesn't seem like it's as aggressive as the Enzers. I haven't seen too many people like have issues with like um, the back tearing or anything like that but i also don't know too many people using the village hidden iron sleeves um, besides my client bob and like a couple other people who are sponsored so um it's hard to give a very really fair analysis as far as that comparison since i only know a couple people using them but as far as my use with them i really didn't have too many issues with them at all um but as a whole you know good good pair of knee sleeves i would pretty much say like i put the enzers and the village and iron like neck and neck in terms of quality the only reason why I would have the Village and Iron Sleeves edged out a little bit is because I think they can form to the leg a little bit better. Like if you go true to size, it's gonna fit the leg well versus having like little gaps around like the quad or the calf. Now, with that being said, we're talking about, you know, gaps. That's gonna lead us next to the A7 rigor mortis, which in my last video, out of the A7s, um, the uh, Iron Rebels and the Enzers, like I said, I placed the A7s at the top. And even after I later went and tried the Village and Iron, I still placed the A7s at the top up to that point. The main reason being is with these A7 sleeves, they are, the rigor more specifically, are more of an hourglass shape. So they're way more tapered relatively um, to something like the Enz or Ergo, Ergo Pros in terms of like the size, and you can even see that, right? Um, because mind you, these are a size small in the Enzers. These are a size medium in the A7s. And, but you can see the difference here like with the sizing, right? So that cone shape for me, I like it a lot because it, it gives it a nice tight compressive feeling on the leg um, from the top as well as kind of going into the bottom. Uh, and the stitching is a little bit different because instead of it being just one in the back, it's on the sides, right? Which um, in my opinion is definitely, is definitely better than just the one in the back. 
Um, I think you have less, you've had, you've had run into less people having issues with the tearing and stuff like that. Now with these and really with almost all of these, you definitely need to go true to size. Like a lot of people would be like, oh, what did you wear in this size? And then I'll just compare it to what I wore in this other sleeve and then I'll get that. But like, no, you need to just take time to measure because with these, I believe they have you measure the calf, um, the middle of the quad and the top of the quad as well, because it is cone shaped. So just take all those measurements and go true to size because these are very tight. Every single person that I know that has tried to size down in these has regretted. They ended up having to send it back or get a new size or just stop using them all together because it's just too tight, once again, because of that cone shape. Um, and that's part of why I like these a lot. I like the cone shape. I like the way it conforms to the leg. And I like the way that overall, comparatively, um, it feels like you're able to keep more tension throughout because one of the issues with some of these sleeves um, like even like the instance, for example, like I said, you have all this tightness and tension at the top, but then as you start to load into the hole and go to the bottom with some of them, depending on like how close your stance is, how wide your stance is, how you're built, how much range of motion you have, it almost seems like it, like you almost can like bottom out and lose that tension at the very bottom when you need it most. But I didn't really have that issue as much with the uh, A7 sleeves. And, and in terms of like, you know, comfort and tightness, uh, they did not take very long to break in, but as a whole, they definitely do kind of stay tighter compared to what I'd say like the Enzers do or the Village Hidden Iron, which I think is a good thing, but it is just something to, to keep in mind. Like there would be some sessions depending on how much volume I was doing or how much of a pump I would have where I would have to maybe like um, at least roll them down. I wouldn't have to take them off completely, but roll them down, kind of let, you know, my legs chill before putting them back on for the next set. Um, but out of the ones we reviewed so far on this video, the A7s went out as far as the ones that have been reviewed up to this point. Now, next, we're going to talk about the Titans, the Titan TKS. These are interesting because you guys know that, like I said, I was rocking the A7s, um, and you guys saw me for my last prep for Carolina Primetime, rocking the A7s all the way up until my meet day, actually. I only used these one time before my meet, and I instantly decided to go with them over the, the A7s, um, personally, for my Carolina Primetime meet, and they, they, they worked great. You guys saw I went through three on squats. Meet PR, probably the most hype, um, the most hype part of the meet for me was the squat. So I had no issues with uh, the Titans overall. As you guys can see, they are very stiff though. So in terms of all the stiff sleeves that are out so far, these are the stiffest, easily. Like it's, it's not even close. Like if you, for whatever reason, your thing is you want a sleeve that is as stiff as possible, then these are gonna be the ones for you, right? You guys have seen them do the thing where like, you know, like uh, they put different weights and stuff on the sleeves. They put a full like um, 25 kg plate on these and they still stayed. So these are the stiffest ones that are out so far. They're stiffer than the Enzo Ergo Pros. But what's interesting about them is even though they're stiffer than the Enzo Ergo Pros, they conform to the leg better. And part of that is just due to, once again, like the, the overall size, sizing and shape. Once again, if we compare these, right? Not as big a difference as what there is between like the A7s and the Enzers, but these are just a little bit um, more tapered than what the Enzers are. So in regards to, you know, if you're just looking for the stiff sleeve possible, this is it. You definitely feel like that tightness around the leg. You feel that tensioning, but they're also very easy to get on and off. No real issues there. Um, the only problem with these, once again, is even though, yes, they, they are very stiff, and I think part of what makes these better is, once again, the stitching here is different. So the stitching here, it goes down the bottom, right? But that hopefully clears up. It also has it, though, on the sides, right? So the overall compression and tension in the hole feels way better compared to the Enzers, and even compared to the A7s. I really think that's the reason why I like these a little bit more than the A7s, um, is because, like I said, the A7s have the stitching just on the side. This has it on, like, the side and the back, and I feel like that just allows you to feel like you're keeping a little bit more tension right at the bottom instead of only having tension at the top. So I really, really like these. Now, with that being said, in my opinion, as far as if you're going to prefer the A7s or you're going to prefer the Titan TKS, I do think the biggest thing is going to be the shape. Do you prefer a traditional knee sleeve shape or do you want more of a cone shape? For me personally, um, even though I really like the cone shape and I like the way it conforms to the leg compared to these other sleeves, because these still conform to the leg really well, there's not like a huge gap between like my, like with my calf and the bottom part. There is more of a gap with the calf and the bottom part in these compared to these, I will say. Um, and once again, these are a size small, these are size medium, but um, it's nothing drastic and it fits on the leg really well overall. But I think it's just the fact that I do still prefer an overall like normal knee sleeve um, shape, personally. Uh, at least if I'm going like if, if everything else is the same, like tightness, conformity, like stiffness overall, then I like the uh, 
the um, the more traditional knee sleeve shape. So I think that's what it might come down to. I think a lot of people will still like the A7s just as much as they like these if you like the shape of this more and the way it fits on the leg. But if you kind of don't care about it either way, you kind of just want, well, which is stiffer, you're going to go with the TKS because these are definitely the stiffest ones out of all of them. Now, I don't think that's necessarily going to be the best move for everybody because, quite frankly, there's been a lot of people, you know, uh, in my YouTube comments and, and on Instagram and then clients stuff like that where they're like, they don't really like the super, super stiff sleeves. Like my client, Michael C is one of them. Uh, my client at B, Sean Noriega, they talk about how they, they don't really like the super stiff sleeve, the super stiff feeling. They don't like feeling like they have all this tension at the top and they're almost having to force themselves into the hole just to lose that tension at the bottom. And depend, once again, depending on what type of squatter you are, you might experience that. Like I said, I didn't really experience that with these personally. Out of all the new stiff sleeves, I do think these are best. But once again, these are the stiffest sleeves out there. And you might not be somewhere where stiffer is necessarily better. So if that is the case, that is where we enter in the new SBD knee sleeves. Now, these are ones where a lot of people have been saying, oh, the new SBD knee sleeves, like, you know, they, 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 they aren't good. They don't, they don't feel good. Um, they're not as stiff, like they're trash. I completely disagree. The purpose of these sleeves is not to be as stiff as possible. In my mind, these are basically like an upgraded version of the OG SBDs. These, like the material is definitely a little bit different. Um, and it's, a, it's definitely relatively a little bit stiffer compared to like the old material, but it's nowhere near as stiff as these new sleeves. But the idea with these new SBD knee sleeves, I believe they're just going for just tightness and compression, which is really what you're looking for anyway. Like tightness and compression, or you know, conforms to the leg well, good tight compression into the hole. These are actually a uh, size extra small, just because for quick reference, and SBDs, I was always able to rock extra smalls. Um, and these, because they're tighter, I probably could have gotten a small. I was able to get these on, but they definitely were pretty tight. But um, an extra small in SBDs, an extra, extra small in Stoics, like the old Stoics. And then I wear like, you know, a small in the Enzers, um, a small in the, uh, the Village Hinden Iron, um, a medium in the A7 rigor mortis. Once again, do the cone shape. They're just a little bit tighter. And then you guys will see um, with the, like I said, the Iron Rebels, I got a medium, size up twice, still too big. And then you guys will see with this last knee sleeve that I'm about to go over here, um, that my size small is on those two. But anyway, size extra small with these, the SBDs. And these actually felt great. In my opinion, um, at least out of the sleeves I've gone over so far, this is actually probably going to be better for the vast majority of you because most of you are coming from, you know, wearing like a traditional sleeve or this SVD or, um, or stoic. So this is going to feel like an upgrade from that, but it's not going to feel drastically different. Like it's changing your movement. And then a lot of you, like I said, were like stiffer is not necessarily going to be better. If you're looking just for a nice, tight, compressive, well-made sleeve where you feel like you have that tension coming into and out the hole, these are going to be a good move for you. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say that I think they're necessarily be better than the Titans, but basically it's going to come down to preference. If you want the, the best stiff stiffest sleeve that's out there right now, as far as like, what's the stiffest, it's going to be the Titan TKS. But if you're like, okay, I just want a, a better upgraded knee sleeve. That's a little bit better, tighter, more durable than like the, old, the you know, the old SBDs or the, uh, the Stoics, then you're going to probably just go with the new SBDs. Um, because like I said, these aren't stiff. Like you can, like you can see these aren't anywhere near as stiff <laughs> as like, as like these. Right. Um, and then you can even like, you know, once again, keeping in mind, these are, um, these are smalls and these are extra smalls, but you can even see the overall difference too, like in what the size is there relatively, even if these were small, I guarantee you, these would still look a lot. I mean, even if these were extra small, these would still look a lot smaller by comparison. Um, but I actually think the SVD sleeves are good, good, high quality. And it, but the only challenge with the SVDs, do I think these are worth what they're charging? No, I honestly feel like they should just replace the current SPDs with these because these, once again, just kind of feel like a slightly upgraded version of the OG SPDs. That's the thing. Um, what you're getting with a lot of these newer sleeves and why they cost more is because of the material that they're using, right? In terms of everything with um, that they have, you know, with the, the neoprene and the nylon. With these, um, not so much. Now, what is cool about these is, once again, they still have like the, you know, the OG SPD like type of stitching. And it is cool that there is a right in the left side, I do think that matters. And that is one thing that does annoy me about a lot of these other newer stiff sleeves. They don't designate a right or left side, but that does matter just because of how our legs are shaped and the fact that you know <laughs> how things work with like, you know, with the quad sweep and everything like that. I do think it matters to have um, a right or left side. So with that being said, that brings me to what is in my opinion, the best knee sleeve out of all of these. And it's not even close, like for me, we can make subtle comparisons between almost all of these or be like, oh, it's kind of preference, stuff like that. And ultimately, all of this is preference. But for me, it's not even close. Um, when I first tried the prototype 
I already told the owner of, and the creator of the sleeves, yo, if when you make the finished product, if they're anything like these prototypes, it's 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 game over in my opinion in terms of what's going to be the best sleeve. And that is going to be the Helix Performance sleeves. These right here. These were created by David Shelton. Those of you who are OG subscribers or just you know been in the product community for a little bit, you know who David Shelton is. He is the owner, one of the owners of Progressive Overload Dallas, a gym here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, he's also a powerlifter, a powerlifting coach, really strong dude, really smart, knowledgeable dude. And he's somebody where he's just very big on wanting to, you know, help the powerlifting community be better, give back to the community. And he's been working on these sleeves for a while. Um, and I love them. So these are the Helix sleeves. In these, I wear a size small. Once again, what's cool about these is, first of all, like I just said, that's because they do designate a right and left side, which does matter. But the crazy part is going to be the stitching. The way that the stitching is laid out is awesome because when I tell you like that pop out the hole feels great, you feel, you know, it feels tight and conforms to the leg, you have that peak tension, it's great. So in terms of these, um, they're not, they're not, they're not crazy difficult to get on, but they do take a little bit of work to get on um, compared to some of these other ones, but you kind of want that, right? Like if it's easy, if, if you can get it on almost mindlessly, then it's like, okay, it might be a little bit too big, or maybe it's not stiff enough. Um, but you know, a little bit of work to get them on, but if you're true to size, you shouldn't have too many issues, but they're extremely easy to get off just because of the material um, that it's made of. They're extremely easy to get off. But the cool thing about these is in my mind, it's pretty much taking the best of everything in the SBD sleeve and combining it with the concept of these stiffer sleeves. So this sleeve is stiffer than the SBD sleeve, but it's not anywhere near as stiff as say the Titan knee sleeve. But that's why I think it's that perfect balance because, because it's not so overly stiff, you get that nice tight compressive feeling, especially due to how everything is set up with the stitching, right? It's not this thing where like, okay, you have all this tension, feels really tight at the top, but then once you hit the bottom, all that tension dissipates. Like you, the peak tension stays and you're able to drive out the hole really quickly, really easily without feeling like you're bottoming out. So I love that. But because it is still stiffer than the SVDs, it still has that aspect of being a little bit more durable, right? And you can like kind of feel that tension throughout, like including at the top, which I personally love. So it's, to me, it's, it's like, it's the perfect knee sleeve. I had no complaints about it. Um, it pretty much takes any issue that I have with the stiff sleeves and fixes it by combining with concepts of the SPDs, but then it also takes the fact that like, okay, well, these SPDs could be a little bit stiffer because I do like to have a slightly stiff sleeve. But like I said, it's that, it's that perfect blend and that perfect balance. And David was cool enough to actually stop by and kind of give his thoughts on the knee sleeves. He allowed me to ask him some questions and kind of see like, okay, hey, like what your, was your thought process behind the knee sleeve? Um, how long you've been working on it and everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and let that clip play for you guys right now. All right, guys. So we are here with the homie, David Shelton. He was cool enough to come through um, just so we can kind of give more of his thoughts and his perspective on his product, the Helix Performance Sleeves. Um, and I'm going to be incorporating this into the actual like full comparison knee sleeve um, video because you guys are going to see in that video, I already talked about the fact that for me, these are the best knee sleeves. Like easily, it's not even close. And I'll end, you know, in that portion of this whole video talk about why, but I just wanted to have David here because it's cool to actually be able to have one of the owners of the knee sleeves um, to ask him questions on like what his thought process is, why he went in the direction that he did, just everything like that. So to start off, man, first of all, how long have you been working on these like in the background? Uh, so, you know, this company sort of, it, it kind of started just as a joke, honestly. Like we, we used to joke about how like a lot of sleeves were coming out and like they were all doing the same thing. And, uh, you know, we just, we said, Hey, you know, maybe we could make something different and try something else, you know? And, and this transpired about a year ago. So from a year till now, it's like things started, you know, turning in my mind, like ideas started, you know, transpiring. I started seeing more and more companies come out with them. I was like, okay, well now's the time to do it. Now's the time to do it. Yeah. So, uh, I, I sort of, tried to essentially jump in line with all of these companies coming out with sleeves and I wanted to simply do it different. <laughs> yeah. I, and so I've been lifting, you know, for a really long time, been in, you know, knee sleeves for just about as long as I can remember. And, uh, for me, like I'm really particular about how the knee sleeves feel. Yeah. So originally, you know, like, um, 
company came out, Stiff Sleeves, Inzer came out, and I remember, I, I literally remember, it was uh, two weeks out from Nationals, and and I said, man, these aren't even out yet, but they're approved, like, I need to get a pair of these, because if they actually help, then I'm going to go into Nationals feeling really good. Yeah. Uh, went in, uh, you know, uh, and tried them on, and I was like, what is going on? Like something wrong. Like they didn't work how I thought they they were. Yeah. And um, you know, I've been I've been wearing SPD since the beginning of time, just because that's what I'm used to and that's what I'm, um, what I enjoy the most. Uh, I have like the old quality SPDs, which I like a lot. Um, but I tried the Inzers. Those were the first ones to come out. Um, I felt like a. Uh, the best way to describe it was I felt like a bottoming out sensation when I was squatting. Since I was really particular, I swapped right back. Um, so that's kind of how that all started was because I started noticing that they were stiff, but they weren't really doing what I thought they were going to do. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's almost like something came out and I was like, I know what they're trying to do. Like, I know what they're trying to feel, but they're not, they're not doing it. Like, so you know, all these things mixing in my mind, you know, I start seeing some other designs coming out, I start seeing stiffer neoprene, just things like that. And I was like, man, I wonder what would happen if I just started, you know, testing the waters, like prototyping things out. I, like I said, I've, I've been doing this for so long that I know kind of the aspects of the materials and the actual uh, stitching, things like that, that actually matter um, in developing like how a sleeve is supposed to feel. Yeah. Um, so long story short, went through a few prototypes. I knew what I was looking for. Um, so it took about three or four different prototypes for me to, to say, okay, this is the one that I really like. Like it felt really good to wear. And I was like, I know this is, you know, the, the, the right one, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. and then after that, we produced it, you know, it said, okay, we're, we're going to make a small run of them and see how people like them. Uh, we initially had a few prototypes. We just had people try them. I didn't have, like, nobody said anything negative about them. I was like, okay. So I think I, you know, I started inclining and saying, okay, this is, this is right. This is the right thing to do, you know? So produced a limited run for, uh, for the launch coming up soon. And, uh, that's, that's sort of the plan, the short term plan. So, yeah, well, no, I just, I remember for me, um, I can't remember, maybe it was like a couple months back when you let me try one of the prototypes. And what was crazy about it was I tried it with just the bar. Usually, like, I don't feel, when I'm just taking the bar with knee sleeves, it's kind of like whatever. But the fact that I felt a difference with just the bar, I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of <laughs> crazy. And those were actually like, those were an extra small and I actually were a small. So that was a size too small. Oh, and it, and it's still, and you know, that was very, very difficult to, to, to get on, which I'm going to actually ask him a question about that here in a second. But the fact that despite it being like a size too small, that I felt the difference with just the bar. That's why I was like, oh, okay. And that's when I told him straight up, I was like, bro, if your finished product is anything like these prototypes, you're you're good. Because like I said, I you guys know I've tried all these other sleeves. I've given my thoughts, the comparisons. And in a lot of ways, some of them are very closely comparable to the point where it's almost just a preference more than anything like concrete or super objective. But with these, it was like a automatic like night and day difference. And... um. My next question was pretty much going to be that, David, as far as, in your opinion, um, is there a need to size down with these at all? Or can you just go no. through the size? So, so basically, I sized these um, like as similar as possible to like what I believe needs to be tight. Mm -hmm. So essentially, we have a sizing guide online that the measurements that it says are the measurements. Like that's going to be tight. And if, if, say, the measurement is 20 inches or something like that and you go for the size that's like at 20 expect it to be like pretty tight like pretty aggressively tight and and i actually believe that if you can't get them high enough or that you have any trouble actually pulling the top part up that you got the wrong size mm -hmm. um so the way that these sleeves work is it's less on actual tension of like how whenever you're putting it on at the top you feel that squeeze on your quads that's not actually like how they work like a lot of these other sleeves that's what that's kind of the idea the idea is to feel really tight mm. uh but whenever you go down it simply disappears yeah. right so yeah. it's like a ghost tension <laughs> it's like that's what i called it a ghost tension and so for with these sleeves 
you should be able to relatively easily put them on and relatively easily take them off. So like almost no struggle. Like, like there's like, I'll probably post a video eventually of me taking them off. It didn't even take me two seconds. Like I literally slid them right down where these sleeves actually do their work is when you go down, it actually compresses as you go down. So it actually helps you where you want it, which is in the hole. Yeah. Um, and that has to do with like the stitching, right? Cause that's, right. that's one thing that I've noticed and talked about and I'm going to talk about in the video too, is like the different styles of stitching and how that matters with where you feel the tension and stuff yep. like that. Um, cause yeah, like you said, these are, these are, have not been difficult to get on or off at all. Like I'd say they're a little bit hard to get on than off, but in both cases it's, it's super easy. And yeah, that's the thing too that I've been telling people because a lot of people with a lot of these newer knee sleeves, they keep asking me, oh, what size did you wear in this? And then what size do you wear this? And I keep telling everybody, it doesn't matter what I'm wearing. Be true yeah. to size. Take your measurements and be true to size. But it's interesting because a lot of these other companies, they they literally will say like, oh, if you want like a looser feel, go with this. Or if you want a slight tighter feel than size down. To me, that almost makes it more confusing instead of just like, I want to just measure and know that that is the right size, right? And it sounds like you kind of accounted for that. I've gotten a numerous amount of messages and just people asking me at the gym, things like that, like of what size they should get and things like that. And it's like, the best thing to do is literally measure your leg. And if you receive them and, and it's hard around your quad, then then you're probably on the wrong size. Yeah. Um, and we made the sizing guide, you know, aggressive enough to where they shouldn't be like we gave some cushion in there so that you're not like squeezing them on. Right. Um, and, and always remember like another really big thing with these sleeves is say you have a gap at the bottom or say you have like a little bit of gapping, right? So these sleeves are stiff. And so what happens is, is you can't get everybody's leg the perfect size. Like you can't get it perfect. Mm -hmm. So sometimes there are gaps when say your quads are really big, but your calves are really small. The gap at the bottom, yeah. <laughs> the gap at the bottom actually, um, it it made it had a lot of reaction online initially with some of these other sleeves, but with these sleeves, it doesn't take or it doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's and so that's why this sleeve I think is going to be a game changer because it actually doesn't matter how tight you get them. You don't need them to be tight anymore mm -hmm. because the material itself does its job. Um, and then the stitching, of course, which we'll talk about. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much what I was, was going to ask next was like, and I'll, I'll let you hold this. You can kind of walk through it, but what was your mindset with the stitching? Um, cause that's, to me, that's one of the biggest difference. Like, I know like a lot of these sleeves have the same material, but the biggest difference I noticed, like, you know, the A7 has them on the side, Inzer, Village 9, it just has it directly in the back, mm -hmm. but y'all's is, um, it's, it's like, and I know of course SPD has kind of almost like the spiral, but y'all's is a little bit different from that. And I believe you even got a, a patent on this stitching yep. specifically so I people can, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> kind of just take us through what the mindset is with the stitching and why it is what it is as far as that. Yep. So conceptually, right, we have a stiff material, but whenever you put the sleeve on, it essentially stretches at the stitch, mm -hmm. right? So that's the rule with all of these things. And that's the concept behind the stitching. And so essentially, with these other ones, you have a stitch that goes straight down the middle. So whenever you put it down, or whenever you put it on, the forces going are going out perpendicular from the stitch, right? Mm -hmm. So that's just kind of a force rule, right? The stitch creates the force. So I said, okay, if a straight stitch is making me bottom out, like how do I make the force, how do I change the force, right? So since I wanted the most force at the bottom, I needed something that would essentially clamp down as I went down. So I, I mean, and it took, you know, time for me to do this. I didn't just analytically like come up with it, but right. I realized that if I had a diagonal situation going, that I would get a diagonal force coming out of it this way, but then I put a stitch in the front to where everything, it's and it's the opposite of the back. Mm. So essentially we're getting a force that's going this way, but then it's crossing on the back. So it's fighting, the sleeve is actually fighting itself on the way down. And that's the feeling that you actually end up getting is at the bottom, it feels like it's going to just like, it feels really secure, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. we'll put it that way. Yeah. Um, so that's actually how these work. You know, they're, the stitching is made to actually 
fight itself. And then you combine it with a stiff material and that's whenever you get the material actually doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah. So, yeah. cause the biggest thing about a lot of these other sleeves is they have really stiff material, but it's not being utilized. If, if, if that makes any sense. Um, so I just said, okay, let's utilize it some and like actually get something out of them. Um, <laughs> and it's funny because these are neoprene sleeves. Like we're, we're not supposed to be creating knee wraps or like any sort of equip situation. But um, I definitely feel a lot more secure at the bottom in these than I have any other sleeve I've ever felt. I'm trying my best not to be biased, but yeah. I'm very particular about my sleeves. Like anybody that knows me knows that I don't just try like other things. And it's yeah. like whenever I went to develop this, I, I tried pretty hard to like get it right. So yeah. Well, I mean, that's why I was excited when you said you were making one. Cause like, you know, obviously, you know, this is his, this is his products. So like I say, he's trying to be biased, but he's not paying me to do this. Like I like, I asked him to come down and if he would mind taking the time to be on the channel and kind of talk about this just so, you know, cause I didn't want to speak for him. Like you guys are going to like, so you guys are going to hear my thoughts over like what I think is good about the sleeves and stuff like that. But a lot of what he's saying are things that I was planning to address in regards to like the stitching, that feeling of the bottoming out. And like I said, like the way, and it's not just me, a lot of people, like I know John, a lot of people describe it as almost like taking the best aspects of like the old SPD sleeves, combining it with these stiffer sleeves and then getting this really cool balance. And like you said, even like the, the stitching and the, 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 almost like the bunching you get right at the bottom where you want it to happen. That's been really, really cool and really, really useful. And like I said, I, I immediately felt the difference. And when, you know, with the prototype and then with these, like I said, it's not even close. And what I, what I did is like, whenever I compare something, I don't just use it like, Oh, this feels better. I go back and forth. And as I've gone back and forth, it's like, yeah, I feel, especially in the hole, that's where I feel the biggest difference, especially with, you know, being a wider squatter. I know you're a wider stance squatter as well. Yeah. Um, but what's been cool to see is that seeing people with close stance, wider stance, somewhere in between, it seems like they're all kind of getting the same benefit out of it. So is that, and that's pretty much my last question is that, is this a sleeve that you think will work kind of regardless of what type of stance or style squatter you are. Because that's one thing that I was telling people. Like the Titans, I think, for someone like Christian, for example, yep. they're so stiff, but they work well because Christian has such a wide stance. And he literally almost, with the way he squats, when he forced himself into the hole anyway. But because of his range of motion, how long his legs are, I feel like he still gets pretty good tension right at the bottom compared to somebody else who's shorter or maybe their range of motion is not quite that. They don't quite get that same tension. So would yeah. you say these are going to be pretty good for anybody regardless of squat style and stance? Yeah, I mean, so sleeves are always, at the end of the day, going to be a preference thing. So, mm -hmm. like, say you try all these other sleeves, say you try mine and you still can't find one. It's like, okay, well, I guess you're the next person to make a pair, I guess. Yeah. But <laughs> I mean, when it comes down to it, like these sleeves that are really stiff that have the straight stitch in the back, like I actually recommend them for people that their knees either travel really forward or they really like, like kind of almost dive bombing their squat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you're essentially pulling the material apart really quickly. And then a stiffer material, regardless of how the stitching is, is essentially going to pull itself really hard at the bottom. And if you're going down fast enough, you can get something out of it. The reason why these tend to be good for everybody is because, I mean, one, not everybody dive bombs their squat. That, or I would say not very many people yeah. I would say, yeah, at, at this point. point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but essentially, I'm a wide squatter. And one thing that wide squatters have to have is tension mm -hmm. and so the buildup actually at the bottom is that feeling in your hips whenever you squat wide is essentially what you're searching for in your knees as well mm -hmm. so whenever you have a sleeve that's stiff but then you get down to the bottom you're searching for tension and then whenever you don't have it it comes out wrong mm -hmm. uh, so so essentially like you know it's still preference but as far as it goes like I could see this sleeve working for all crowds because of the fact that it plays on all sides. Mm -hmm. uh, wide squatting is actually the nuanced part of all of this because mm -hmm. not very many people squat wide mm -hmm. and most people that squat wide, they, they actually prefer the softer sleeves because it helps them to get compression. They feel the tension and compression at the bottom and, that, and that's good enough for them. They don't care if there's bounce or not. I want tension, mm -hmm. you know? So whenever I, w whenever I got into these and realized that they were also good for a wide squatter, I was like, I think I'm good because the wide squatting is the nuanced portion. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
Well, no, that's that's awesome, man. That that was pretty much it as far as my questions. Not gonna necessarily make me reveal all the secrets and details behind it, but appreciate you coming on and taking the time to kind of explain the product. Like I said, guys, this is David Shelton, one of the owners of Progressive Overload Dallas. I'll have his Instagram, the, um, the Helix Performance, Knee Sleeve Instagram, as well as um, the, his gym Instagram all on screen. Uh, with that being said, I'm gonna let you guys get back to the rest of the Knee Sleeve review video. All right, so you guys were able to hear it from the man himself, and I really appreciate David taking the time. Like, cause like I said, he's in the Dallas area, I'm in the Fort Worth area, and even though that should be about a 40, 45 minute drive with traffic and how everything is, um, he ended up driving like almost an hour and a half just to get down here, just so he could be, you know, talk to you guys directly himself about his his mindset behind the product, which I appreciate because obviously I can't do that with the, necessarily with the owners like you know A7 or SVD or anything like that. Um, but yeah, and, and you know, and while it might be easy to sit here and just be like, oh, well, you know, Marcellus knows David, that's why he's promoting his sleeve more. Like, you guys, it's me. You guys already know I'm not going to do that. If I think a product's trash, it's trash, and I have no issue telling my friends that. Um, and if I really thought it was that bad, I wouldn't even bother getting on the channel to review it unless they wanted me to. And they're like, all right, but I'll be honest about it. But no, I really do think the Helix Performance Sleeve is easily just the best sleeve out right now. And um, as of the time of this video, these are actually now available. So I'll have the link in the description box down below for those of you who want to go and grab you a pair while you can. Um, I know that he's already been selling quite a bit locally, so I'm not sure what they have left in, in stock in terms of different sizes. So you might want to get all that pretty quick. But yeah, these to me are the best knee sleeve because it gives you that conformity to the leg. Um, not crazy difficult to get on, super easy to get off allowing you to have peak tension throughout the squat, especially in the bottom where we really want it so we can get that strong reversal. Nice and stiff and supportive, but not so overly stiff to where you feel like you're fighting against yourself to get into the hole. Like you still have that basic comfort you would have wearing like a normal sleeve and SB just to go into the hole, but not so loose and flimsy to where you feel like you're just wearing toilet paper either. And, and once again, due to the way the stitching is set up and just the material, you can tell these are gonna last and they're gonna last well. And I've loved them. I've like every squat stitch I've had of them has felt really good, has felt really consistent. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts over all of these knees. Oh, let's make sure, let's make sure. Iron Rebels, A7s, SVD, Village Hidden Iron, Enzers, Titans, Helix Performance. Yeah, that's all of them. That's everything, guys. <laughs> that's that's all these knee sleeves. I'm not going to review any more. I'm not going to buy any more. Um, if a company wants to send me some, that's cool, but I'm not going to bother with it just because for me, I, in my mind, I don't think anyone's beating the Hillis performance. Like, I just, I don't see it happening um, unless they literally went out and tried to, like, completely copy David's design, which I don't think they can legally do that. So, um, since, since I don't think they can legally do that as far as copying David's design, I think we're good to go um, as far as that. And, you know, like I said, I know Stoics might be coming out with, like, coming out with their version of the sleeve, but from what I hear and understand, it's just slightly stiffer than the SPDs, but not as stiff as, like, the A7, so do with, with that info what you will. But, yeah, that's all I have to say about these knee sleeves. That is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you did. If you not, leave a comment down below. Let me know what can be better. Like the video, share, subscribe. Keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch you guys later.